What do teachers and students need to do to foster a good virtual learning environment? Well, the good news is that great teachers can thrive in a virtual setting, and they can guide their students to be successful too. Today we'll be discussing what virtual learning actually is and ways teachers can create a highly effective virtual learning environment. I'm Sissy, here with Jotform. Let's get started. Educators often avoid the term virtual learning and replace it with things like online learning, e-learning, and distance learning. This makes sense as the term implies learning is only virtual or not real. Virtual learning means that the lesson is occurring or existing primarily online. This can be either self-directed or facilitator-led. Facilitator-led or synchronous online teaching is most successful when it mirrors a traditional classroom structure as closely as possible. The only difference is that rather than gathering in person, students attend class through audio and video conferencing software. Teachers should try to replicate the same experience for students both virtually and in person. So if your class starts at 9.15 a.m., keep holding your class at 9.15 a.m. Continue engaging with your students, call them out if they aren't paying attention. The only thing you are really changing is where the class is taking place. When it comes to virtual learning, students and teachers need a few tools to make the learning experience as smooth as possible. These tools include a digital device, like a tablet, a laptop, or even a smartphone. If they aren't already included in your device, you will need a webcam, microphone, and speaker to enable participation during online classes. Students and teachers also need a steady, reliable internet connection, as well as an online meeting platform. Some great examples of online meeting platforms include Zoom, WebEx, and GoToMeeting. Online software is another good tool to have for students and teachers to share homework materials and learning documents online. One option for this is Google Classroom. Students and teachers are able to interact with posts, write online discussions, and view multimedia files. Let's talk more about virtual learning software. It's a good idea to have a digital meeting platform where participants can share their screen with the rest of the class. This works as a digital blackboard to display lesson information. This helps to replicate the learning experience in the classroom, but instead of seeing the blackboard in person, they are seeing it on their computer screens. They are still receiving the same information and collaborating with their teacher and classmates. These virtual web-based services can help make collaboration between students and teachers much more interactive. Some of these online services include Starfall, Education.com, Read Naturally, and Go Math Academy. They are great for enriching student learning in a variety of subjects. When trying to manage tasks like registration, homework collection, surveys, and quizzes online, the best tool to use is Jotform. You can completely customize our form templates and make them work for your specific needs. To learn more, head over to jotform.com. No matter what software or online services you use, make sure that your lessons are accessible to all of your students. Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act and Title II of the Americans with Disabilities Act make it illegal to discriminate against someone on the basis of disability. So in the case of schools, Teachers must provide a means for students with disabilities to learn and participate in every lesson. This can include providing a screen reader software for students with vision impairments, a closed captioning software for students with hearing impairments, and student aides visiting eligible students in their homes. Basically, all students deserve a fulfilling education experience, and it is up to their teachers to make the accommodations necessary for that to happen. Okay, let's review. Virtual learning is a learning environment that takes place online with little changes made to the lesson itself. This style of learning requires some tools, including a digital device, a webcam and microphone, a reliable internet connection, and an online meeting platform. Other online learning platforms are a great way to help teachers and students collaborate online, like Starfall, Education.com, Read Naturally, and Go Math Academy. And finally, all virtual learning should be made accessible to all students, no matter what disabilities they may have. As an educator teaching online, the main goal should be giving students the same care and attention online as you would in person. Though virtual learning is a bit different, 
your focus should be on giving students the same great experience. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm Sissy here with Jotform. Have a good one.